for the first time since the March 15 terror attacks. I arrived at the mosque just after one o'clock, not long before prayers, and I was welcomed by the 30 or so people um, who were there with such amazing hospitality. The actual building itself is quite small, it's about the size of a, of a small classroom and as you walk in you can still smell the incredibly strong smell of new carpets, you can see some of the new paints on the walls, um, on all the windowsills are cards from well-wishers saying kia kaha we are with you, stay strong and, the, uh, and as I said earlier about 30 people today coming for the first prayer, Friday prayers since the Friday attack. Attacks. Now, an imam from Australia by the, uh, by the name of Rabbi um, Basie came over from Melbourne to hold, um, to hold the prayers today. I spoke to him at length afterwards and I asked him first, why did he come? Well, we came as an um, uh, important and needed uh, visit uh, to our brothers and sisters in um, Christ Church um, to visit the, the people in the hospital at the same time to speak to our uh, congregation here in Muslim members and uh, the biggest family uh, of uh, Christ Church. Um, we appreciate everything we have seen of support and kindness so that was uh, of big meaning for us. So we came to as well be part of uh, that solidarity and support as well and see if there's anything we can help or aid with, um, whether for the mosques or the, the people uh, who have lost their uh, beloved or uh, those at the hospitals. Obviously this is the first time Friday prayers have been held here since the attack. What was your message when you, when you spoke your sermon? What was your message to the people here? Our message that um, uh, the message of Islam is um, a message of kindness and mercy and justice, uh, care and love. This is indeed uh, the message of this mosque and every mosque on the globe and uh, every Muslim, I believe, uh, do share these uh, uh, valuables and these morals and manners as we have received it um, through a long chain of uh, 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 history uh, since the, the early prophets and messengers uh, ending with our beloved Prophet Muhammad be upon him. So uh, this message was always a message of care and love and respect and mercy and support. Um, so we came to, uh, to renew and to uh, make the reminder again and to say that uh, we will keep following this path and we are not uh, changing regardless um, the hate or the enmity or um, um, you know the mistake that some people uh, do commit by uh, pre, uh, uh, pre assumptions or prejudging Muslims in the wrong direction um, out of ignorance. And I believe, um, uh, despite all the pain and the blood and the suffer and the, the sorrow we do f uh, feel and we have uh, seen here, um, uh, I believe there's um, some uh, light because we always try to, to take the light out of the darkness and to to learn the lessons in a tough time sometimes and those lessons is uh, uh, there's a lot of goodness in our wider community and uh, people are uh, prepared and ready to come forward and to, and to learn and to see so I would say as um, uh, appreciating we're well, appreciating your visits and flowers and cards and feelings uh, please I mean uh, don't let it stop there you, you come for more forward and try to understand more what Islam is what this mosque is what the role of mosque is it's something just uh, um, uh, for, for really care and we can all together care for each other and uh, live together and um, while we uh, Muslims and while everyone else is happy to be whatever um, God have chosen for him the path or he's chosen for himself however uh, uh, we can be all together so please I mean don't let anyone create barriers or divide us. And that was Rabi Beatty, who was the visiting imam at the Linwood Mosque, talking there to visual journalist Logan Church.